so hello guys today i am going to explain a topic from physical geography called itcz so first of all you have to understand what is the full form of itcz as you can see what is written on the board its full form is intertropical convergence zone now we have to come to the definition what is the definition of itcz it is the region that circles the earth nearer to the equator where the trade winds of the northern and the southern hemisphere comes together so basically you can say uh, so basically you can say that uh, it's a place nearer to the uh, equator of the earth uh, where the northern uh, trade winds northeastern trade winds and southeastern trade winds converge together so it's basically a pressure belt where the two winds of northern from northern hemisphere comes northeast trade winds and from southern hemisphere southeast trade uh, southeast trade winds converge together to form a pressure belt near to the equator that's called itcz now you can write the definition and after that we can continue so just write it uh, now uh, now uh, if you want to understand the ITCZ you have to understand uh, first of all you have to understand one concept that uh, just uh, let's say here is the high pressure area and here is low pressure area so, so air always flows from high pressure towards low pressure you have you have to understand and try to remember this concept uh, in the entire video so you can understand the itcz so let's start so here you can see the northeastern trade winds comes to the equator and southeastern trade wind also comes to the equator so here nearer to the equator a zone is called itcz means intertropical convergence where the northeast trade winds and southeast trade winds converge together this zone is called itcz and here you can see also the pressure belts where the air flows from here let's say here to here and it goes upward direction it's a um, you can say it's a 3d you can imagine it imagine it in a 3d model so let's say air comes here and it goes upward direction goes in upward direction and here also in the southern hemisphere also you can see it goes in upward direction so here a low pressure belt is created means itcz always created near the low, uh, low pressure belt means nearer to the equator now you have to now you have to understand one concept that itcz it not always created exactly at the equator or exactly um, nearer to the equator uh, you can say during the summer solastic when the sun rays vertical sun rays uh, falls towards the north i mean northern hemisphere of the earth the itcz shifts towards northward because there the low pressure zone is created and during the winter solstice when the vertical rays of sun uh, vertical sun rays falls towards southern hemisphere the itcz shifts southwards but it not shifts that much in the southern hemisphere as compared to northern hemisphere because in the southern hemisphere there is not much land area so uh, the you can say uh, you can you have, have to understand one concept that land area uh, warm faster and cools faster so land area when warm faster the low pressure zone is created here you can say uh, from equator here is the low pressure zone uh, but um, in the southern hemisphere there is not much land area so in case of southern hemisphere you can say the uh, low pressure zone is created nearer to the equator uh, nearer to the equator uh, so itcz shifts towards upward 
like here you can say but in case of northern hemisphere it like this you can see here is land land area maximum land area so low pressure zone is created little slightly upward from equator here so that is the concept of itcz i hope you understand and thanks for watching this video